Welcome to this video from the Application Express development team on Application Express 5.0 and the Page Designer tree. I already have page 7 from the sample database application loaded up into the Page Designer. I'm just going to expand out my tree here. The top accordion is rendering, second one is dynamic actions, and I can easily expand that out. So I can see that there's one true action called cancel dialog. I can also see processing and shared components. Going back into the rendering, one of the first things you'll notice is this invalid position. The reason for that is this breadcrumb region, which is coming from the global page, is expecting to find a breadcrumb template. However, this page is actually a modal page, and as a consequence, there's no template for it to be displayed. And so that's why it's indicating there's a problem with that particular region. If I go up the top here to settings, then I can actually change the display of this rendering tree to group by component type. And if we go and have a look in here now, you'll see that I've got regions, buttons, and page items, rather than showing the components in processing order. And I can just uncheck that again. If you right click on any particular component within the tree, then you'll get context sensitive menus coming up. And depending on what sort of component you've clicked on, it will change what options are available to you. People used to using the tree view will be familiar with these options. There's also now duplicate, delete, copy to other page, etc. What I'd like to do is actually go and create a new region though. So I'm going to right click on body two, create region. Let's come up with this new region. I'm going to go over to the property editor here. I want to change this to be address. And the other thing I'd like to do is scroll down here. I've actually got all attributes showing and I want to change it so it does not start on a new row. Now that's a bit small, so I'm just going to drag the splitter back to the left so we can see both regions easier. And now I'd like to move multiple fields across to this new region. So I'm going to just click on address one. I'm holding down the control key, address two, the city, the state, and the postal code. Now, when I go over to the property editor, you'll notice that there's various items here that are blue that because they have different values, and it's indicated by this triangle here in front of the element. The one I really want to do though is go back up and at the moment you'll see that these are all currently on the customer region. I like to move them all to be on the address region. So if I scroll down, you'll see that it's moved all of those items across for me to the new region. Now I'd like to run this page, but when I go up, you'll notice that my save and run button is disabled. The reason for this is that it's a modal page. So what I need to do is actually save the changes on this page and then go back to page two, which is my customers page, and I can run it from here. So I'll just log in. And I'm just going to click on a particular record. And you'll notice that there's my customer and there's my addresses. So this probably wasn't such a good idea given the fact that it's a modal window and it's a narrow window so they don't come up next to each other like I would have expected. Thank you very much for watching this video.